What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be setting up a bioactive paludarium for some vampire crabs. Um, I still haven't gotten them in yet, so I'll be showing you them later on in the video. But I just want to get this started because I want to make sure the water is completely clear once they get here. I'm going to be using some substrate that's already washed and everything, so I don't really expect the water to get too murky. But sometimes once you set up a tank, the filter needs a couple days to clean the water completely. I just want to make sure the water is crystal clear once they get here so that it will look nicer on video. So here are the things that I have to set up this paludarium. So we're going to start right here with the lava rocks. This is pretty much just going to be at the water level to make sure that the water level does not get to the dirt and the substrate and the gravel. I'm not really sure if I'm going to be putting dirt in. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to be setting this up completely yet, but I have kind of an idea in mind. All right, so right here we got some mandula pothos. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it. I'm not really too good with plants, but uh, the next one here is the dark mystery. Here we have some fluffy ruffle fern, as you can see the name right there, and some white and I'm pretty into the fern for this enclosure and with the potos as well. I'm hoping that goes well. This dark mystery I also want to put in here, although I was originally going to put this in Aru's enclosure, which I put some of the potos in there. That's why there's only a little piece left, but uh, this grows pretty fast and I didn't want to put a huge amount inside of the, the vampire crab enclosure. But uh, this, I'm probably going to do the same thing I did with the potos, take out a little piece and plant it. This, I'm probably going to plant the entire thing in there and here. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be using this plant, but I guess we'll just see how it goes. Um, I got this piece of little wood right here, some driftwood, and I got this one as well. And cork bark. I'm not, I'm thinking I'm not going to be using any of these things here. Uh, this is the filter that I'm going to be using, a little pump. Um, well, this is the pump, not a filter, but uh, these are more little shells and decorations that I got just to see if I can make this a little bit nicer. And these rocks, which I'm definitely going to be using, and these rocks, which I'm probably not going to be using. Maybe I'll take a couple of them just to add some rocks in there and make them look nice. But for the most part, this is everything I'm going to use. Might add some things, might take some away, but let's get this started. So the first things I'm going to be setting up are the stones. I'm going to be putting this right here and this pretty much is going to hold the lava rocks in place where they're supposed to go and not let them go into the water area so these guys like 80 percent land 20 percent water they're not going to be going in the water an insane amount so this is about that 80 percent right here i'm going to be putting all the lava rocks on this side of the tank right here and once i do that i'm going to put the substrate and the plants on top and i'm going to be putting the pump in before i forget we want to make sure we cover this with the substrate or rather the rocks uh this pump all these lava rocks here are going to act kind of like a filter pulling all of the gunk from this area here which is going to be you know the water area for the crabs is going to pull all the gunk in through all these rocks and by the time it reaches the pump it's going to be nice and filtered so there we go i put the lava rocks right there that's going to be where all the water is going to be at its maximum i don't want it to go higher than this rock right here it's probably going to stay a little bit lower so the lava rocks are going to come out a little bit above the surface maybe i'll take out some later on but right there i put the piece of wood and i wanted this to be a way out for the crabs as well as like a little hiding spot under the water there i'm going to be adding a couple more hides as well as all the plants and stuff which they're going to be going under i want to add some moss and different types of things to this enclosure but so far it's starting to look good i'm going to take out some of these rocks and the next step is to add the gravel Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time for the pain. The grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. So far, the enclosure is coming out exactly how I want it to. The last thing that I need to do before finally setting it up and adding all the animals is tint all the windows that are not going to be the viewing window.
saying my name, but they holding back. They wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't play no games, I just do that's fact, and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack, I go crazy. Nah, I ain't lazy. Track after track, I work on the sh daily. Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy. About to unpack all these shoes I've been chasing. I got visions in my head, like memories after death. To be a legend instead of something. The next morning, and this is what the paludarium looks like. Still haven't put in the crabs yet because I have not received them. I'll be getting them in a few days. I actually realized I forgot to place the order. Um, so I set up the enclosure and everything. I was waiting for the crabs and I never even put in the order. Uh, but it's in now, so now I just gotta wait. And this enclosure is pretty much exactly how I want to. There's a couple more things that I want to add. Um, I want to add this shell in here just because I think it'll look nice. And on top of that, it'll provide an extra hiding spot for these guys. So I want to make sure they have a lot of areas for them to hide. So I'm going to just bury this down a little bit back there just another little decoration and i think it looks pretty nice the other thing that i want to add is isopods i want to put some isopods in here but i'm gonna i'm kind of scared of them falling in the water because i noticed in my other uh terrariums like arus for example they would sometimes go inside of the water bowl and drown so i don't think isopods are super smart when it comes to water but i'm gonna throw probably just like five in here to see what happens uh, but something else that I want to do is, since the substrate is gravel, I think they would like some sphagnum moss a little bit better. I already put some live sphagnum moss around the place, um, behind that rock as well. But I just want to add a little layer of dead sphagnum moss towards the back where you can't see it, just so that they could go and hide in there and they'll be a little bit more comfortable than on the gravel. Alright, so here is the sphagnum moss. I soaked it in a little bit of warm water. And we're going to go ahead and put some back here, probably a little bit back here between this just so that they have some areas to hide in um, and some down here as well so there we go and either way it wouldn't look bad even if you could see it from the front these changes are in the back so they're barely visible but it's going to make a big difference for the isopods and for the crabs the shell you can see and it looks pretty nice and I don't know if they're going to be using that that much, but either way, it's there. If they like it, they could use it. If they don't, they could just avoid it. But um, let's go ahead and put in the isopods now. So I'm going to be putting some dairy cow isopods in here. If you guys are interested in getting yourself some isopods, make sure you check out shadowsreptiles.com. I have some available on there. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and dump these guys in the back here, far away from the water. There you can see them running off. That one just threw himself off, but come on. There we go. We might never see them again, but hopefully they're able to establish a colony in there and thrive. Hopefully they don't drown themselves. So as you can see, these guys are just over here playing with their lives. I literally saw one. Oh, there he is. He's un under the water. He just came out of the water. So I, I guess there's nothing to worry about as long as these guys are able to get back out. Because I've been watching them for a while and they're literally just walking around under the water it looks like that one's about to go back in there they'll walk down and then come right out on top so it looks like they're really out here just playing on the edge risking their lives um but they kind of look like they know what they're doing so hopefully they're they're gonna at least live long enough to reproduce and i've noticed that a lot of them have been doing that not sure what it means Not sure where the last one that I was watching was. Oh, it was the one down there. So they're all right here. That I only threw four in here, not even five. And they're all here. The other one, the last one is under that piece of moss right there. So the tank has already been prepared for several days now. And I finally got in the crabs that are going to be going into this enclosure. So let's go ahead and put them in. Here is the first one. This is the male vampire crab. And I'm obviously going to show you him a little bit better once he's out of the bag. Uh, to be specific, it's a rainbow vampire crab. All right, so here's the man. I can't really show you him too well in my hand because he's a little bit skittish. So let's just go ahead and put him right in here. There he goes. He just goes right to hide in there. That guy was a little bit shy, but I'm sure we'll see him once he settles in a little bit better. And here are the two females, as you can tell by the smaller claws. So let's go ahead and put these two in there.
really happy with the way this palladarium turned out. Uh, the only other thing that I added on was some java moss. I also put in some water lettuce and duckweed, although it looks like maybe the fish or I don't really think it was the crabs eating it, but I know the crabs dragged a lot of it out um, because I've been seeing duckweed along the edge all the way up to back there. You can see a little dried piece right there. But um, either way, long story short, there is no more duckweed in here. I'm hoping to propagate some in a different container and hopefully put a lot more in here next time to see if it'll hopefully keep the population up. But the fish have been doing great. There's one right there. You can't see him because he's looking directly at the camera. But there he is. She is. She's just chilling right there. And the other one is right here. But the crabs spend most of the time hiding. They like to hide behind that plant back there and under this cork bark. So I'm glad I put that in. Uh, but unfortunately, one of the two females ended up dying the first day. I found her in that corner right there. Not really sure what happened. I'm guessing she may have been either too stressed out from the shipment or she came sick from wherever she came from. The other two have been doing fine. It's already been two weeks since I put them in here and they've been doing great so far. So hopefully everything keeps going well. Um, I do see that they're really active. Like I said, they hide a lot, but they are active. I see that they're walking around here and they climb this and they actually go in and out of the water a lot because uh, they've been pulling the duckweed out. So I do have some clips of them walking around. I usually see them most in the mornings. It seems like the crabs are really enjoying the paludarium and I hope that you guys enjoyed this build. If you guys did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. Leave some suggestions in the comments on what I should be doing next, what I should have been doing different in this paludarium, or what animals you would like to see more of in the future. Make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and have a great day.